On this video, we're going to convert LFP file into an OPT using nothing but Microsoft Excel. This is a continuation of a previous video where I converted OPT to LFP. And like I said there, this is a brain exercise. This is not what you should do is if you have that problem right now. If you need to do a conversion, get iConvert, get your data converted and load it that way. This is a brain exercise where we're trying to figure out how to work with different load files using Microsoft Excel and trying to learn something from it so we could apply to different file formats for which we may not have a converter software. We're going to copy and paste our LFP right into Microsoft Excel and Excel automatically delimited by commas, which is helpful to us so we don't have to do text to column. Now we're going to pick at our OPT file so we know what we need and we need a backdoc number, volume, path, Y for start of a document, and number of pages. In a document, number of pages is optional, so we're going to skip that part. For the first column, we can just take column B and copy it over. For the next column, we'll use a mid command and we'll say mid E1, 2, and now we need to know how many characters to take to grab our volume number. In our case, it is going to be 7. And we can double click to apply it all the way down. Now we need to reconstruct our path. So we'll say equals mid E1. And we'll start with 10. And we'll take 10 characters. And this will give us our path. Now we need to add a backslash after that. And now we need to take file name. And that's going to be also mid command. And which will start at character 21. And I believe it's 10 characters, but let's see. Nope, we need 12. Okay, now we have a path. We can double click and apply it all the way down. Now we need to put Y where a new document starts. So we'll say equals if C1 is blank, we'll bring blank over, else we're going to put Y here and we're going to press enter, double click and scroll down and we can check and yes, whenever there is no D, no Y appears here. So we're doing good. And the last column here is the uh, page count, which we don't actually need. And now we can take the columns we have, copy them into a text editor paste them, we'll search and replace all the tabs to commas, and now we need to add some commas at the end. So we'll do a new line, we'll replace it with one, two, three, and new line. And this is where the page count would go if we needed it, we don't actually need it, so this OPT file is done. And that's how easy it is to use Excel to convert from LFP to OPT. Thank you for watching.